What is going on everyone and welcome back to the Bit of Footy YouTube channel. In today's video we're going to be running through my round 12 AFL tips for the 2024 AFL Premiership season. Now last round and round number 11 I actually did pretty well. I got a total of 8 out of 9 tips so that was one of my best rounds up to date. I know I've got 9 out of 9 before but uh, yeah I got 8 out of 8. Uh, nine last round as you can see on the screen. I got every tip correct Besides the Brisbane tip the Brisbane tip. I did in fact get incorrect The Hawthorne Hawks mate. They just know how to do it against the Lions and they did it again So yeah, that is the only tip I got incorrect was the Brisbane tip having a look at where that puts me in my own tipping competition I am in 25th spot um, like I said, I got 8 out of 9 last round, and I'm on a total score of 61 points. At the top of my tipping comp, we've got Graz, who got 7 out of 9 tips last round, and is on a total of 71 points, at, and has the lead at the top by a total of 1 singular point. So it's tied at the top, uh, but yeah, Graz has the lead, and I think he's had the lead for a little while now, but there's a few people behind him that are just keeping in touch, so we'll see how it goes um, as we get, uh, well, not really closer to the end of the season, but as we continue to push on throughout the season. But yeah, without further ado, let's take a look and see what my tips are for round number 12 of the 2024 AFL Premiership season. My voice is a little bit, you know, nosy. That's because I'm not 100% at the moment, but we'll push through. All right, kicking off round number 12, we've got the Port Adelaide Power taking on the Carlton Football Club. Port Adelaide beat North Melbourne last round by a total of 59 points. Carlton beat the Suns last round by a total of 29 points. This is a, well, sort of tough game to tip because I can really see it going either way. Obviously, you've got Port Adelaide at home. They always play... Pretty decently at the Adelaide Oval. And then you got the Blues who beat the Suns last round, and that win obviously would have uh, got a bit of a bit of uh, confidence back into their systems. It's a tough game to tip. I'm actually going to go the surprise tip here. Yeah, I rarely go the surprise tip, but I could just I don't know what it is, but I, it's just one of those games where I can see Carlton, the sort of underdogs, the non-favourites coming into this game. Getting the job done in this one. I feel like there's a little bit of pressure on Carlton at the moment. You know, they're just in the eight. I think they're eighth spot at the moment. So if they could win this game, that would be quite big for them. And I can just see them doing it. You know, Port Adelaide, no Connor Rosie in the team. I reckon that's a big out for them. Um, no Willie Rioli as well. He's a great forward line player for them. Um, so yeah, I, I, I don't know what it is, but I could just see Carlton going up there, or, well, they're already up there, but going to the Adelaide Oval and getting the job done over the power in this one. So I'm backing in the Blues to get the job done over the power in this game. Then we move on to Friday night where we've got My Pies taking on the Dogs. My Pies are coming off that draw to Port, uh, not Port Adelaide, Frio last round. The Dogs are coming off that 14 point loss to the hands of the Sydney Swans. I mean, who can beat Sydney at this rate? They are playing some terrific footy. I mean, the Dogs though, they played pretty decently considering, you know, what team they ended up with last round. Obviously, Norton, um, got injured in that game and Ed Richards came out and all this and that. Yeah, it, it's been a very stumping season for injuries at the moment. And talk about injuries, Jesus, my pies. The injury list is just growing for my pies at the moment. Obviously, we've got no pendles now this round. No checkers as well. Um, Jesus, and no Joe Richards, right, as, you know, he was going well as well. Jesus Christ, I don't know what's going on, but yeah, there's a lot of injuries going uh, going on around the AFL at the moment. Uh, yeah, tough game to tip. Obviously, the Dogs, they still played very decently against the Swans last round, only losing by a margin of 14 points. And my pies, Jesus, we, we had a 25-point lead and then it ended up as a draw. We could have lost that game. Um, you know, Freo obviously had that shot at goal, which they missed, or it was a running shot at goal, which they missed. Um, yeah, so it should be a very interesting game, this one. Obviously, both teams are coming into this side a bit injury-riddled at the moment, but I'm still going to be backing in at my pies to get the job done. I really feel like our depth has held up very well over the last few rounds, and I feel like it will hold up here. I know it's at Marvel Stadium, and, you know, us against the dogs at Marvel Stadium, I mean, that's just a 
another story for another day. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to be backing in at my pies to get the job done in this one over the dogs. I do think it's going to be a relatively close game considering what the teams will look like. Uh, but yeah, I'm backing in at my pies to get the job done in this one. Then we move over to the Saturday games. We've got Hawthorne taking on Adelaide to begin the Saturday games at 1.45 at the MCG. The beautiful uh, MCG. Hawthorne, they're coming off that win against Brisbane. The only tip that I got incorrect of last round. The Crows, they're coming off that 99-point win over the Eagles. I don't know. I know that they won by 99 and still a big margin, but... It, it just feels weird not to see the 100. Like, to see it one point off the 100, uh, I don't know how I feel about it, but they, I'm not going to take anything away from them. The Crows were absolutely terrific last round. How about Jordan Dawson as well? He played an absolute blinder against the Eagles last round. And yeah, the Crows, they got the job done by 99. But the Hawks, Jesus, they're playing some terrific footy at the moment as well. They're challenging teams. They beat the Lions again for like the fifth time in a row. I don't know what's going on with that, but they just know how to win against the Lions, do the Hawks. I do think this is going to be a close game. It's at the MCG. Apparently, the last time the Crows won at the MCG was when they played Hawthorne, I think. And that was a while ago. I reckon that was 2017-ish or 2016-17-ish when the Crows beat the Hawks at the MCG. And apparently, that was the last time they won at the G. I don't know if that's true or not, but... Take it as you will. Hi, Bitter here. Just correcting my mistake here. I didn't know. I just saw that information that you just heard from me off of TikTok. But actually, the last time that Adelaide won at the MCG was around 15 in 2017 when uh, Adelaide defeated Carlton. So there you go. Um, but yeah, um, I'm still going to be backing in the Crows to beat the Hawks in this game. I know the Hawks are playing some decent footy at the moment. They're really challenging teams, but I feel like the Crows, they're growing in confidence. That 99 point win as well should have their confidence booming at the moment. They're playing some decent footy. They're in 12th spot, 8th spot, uh, not 8th spot, 4 spots out of the top 8 is what I'm trying to say. Um, so yeah, they're playing some decent footy at the moment. They're, you know, a, a team that's got some good form at the moment as well. They're playing some good footy. Nothing to take away from the Hawks though, they're playing some good footy as well, but I just but I just feel like the Crows will be too good and get the job done over the Hawks in this one. Then we move over to the 435 game. Um, we've got the Eagles taking on the Saints at Optus Stadium. The Eagles are coming off that, well, 99 point loss to the hands of the Crows. The Saints are coming off that loss to the hands of the Demons. Jeez, I don't know what to make of the Eagles at the moment. They're terrific at home. They are so good at home. When they play away though, it's a completely different story. I don't know why that is, what that is. I don't know why they can't take confidence from home wins and bring that to an away game. But it just doesn't seem to be happening at the moment. The Saints as well, I don't really know what's going on with St Kilda. They started off the season decently well and now they're in 15th spot. And I don't know what to say about that. And I am going to be tipping the Eagles in this game because what I said before, their home form this season is... Quite remarkable. It's actually terrific at the moment. I mean, they even beat Melbourne at home, and Melbourne are uh, playing some very good footy as well. So, yeah, I'm going to be backing in the Eagles. Every time the Eagles play at home, it's the Harley Reid show. They get up and win. They've been the Dockers at home. I mean, you know, the Dockers home is up, is at up to standing, but still, um, they beat the D's at home as well. I mean, it's, it's Harley Reid's fever when. The game is on at Optus Stadium and the Eagles are playing. So yeah, I'm going to be backing in the Eagles to beat the Saints in this one at Optus. Then we move over to GMHBA Stadium. We've got the Cats taking on the Tigers. Don't really have to say much about this game. The Cats are coming off that four-point loss against the Giants. The Tigers, they played pretty decently. They only lost by 12 points to the Bombers. So take of that as you will. But yeah, I'm going to be backing in the Cats to get the job done in this game over the Tigers. I really feel like the Cats need this win. They haven't um, they haven't gotten to win in a little while and you know I, I, I feel like yeah like I said before they do need this win. Just get a bit of confidence back flowing into their system. I think that's what will happen here. I think the Cats will beat the Tigers. Hopefully the Tigers are as competitive as they were last round against the Bombers but if that's but it's at GMHBA against the Cats. The Cats will be looking for a win to get back on the winners list and get a bit of confidence back into their system, like I said before. So yeah, I'm going to be back again at Geelong to beat the Tigers in 
This one. Then we move over to to the Sunday games for the two Sunday games. We've got the D's taking on the Dockers at, um, well, in Alice Springs at TIO Stadium. Um, the D's are coming off that win against the Saints. The Dockers are coming off that draw against my Pies. Should be a good game this one, a tough game to tip. It's in, it's in Alice Springs, so it's a bit of a neutral ground for both sides. Uh, but you know, the D's have obviously played a few games in Alice Springs. I don't know if the Dockers have, maybe they have, maybe they haven't. I'm going to be tipping the D's to get the job done in this game. This should be a very interesting matchup, though. I think, you know, both teams are very, very, very good defensively. So, who knows what the score will be in this game. If I was tipping, uh, if I was a betting man, I'd go the unders in this game. Because like, I, just, I just feel like this game will be a low-scoring affair in Alice Springs. Both teams are very well set up defensively. We know that. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to be tipping the Ds to get the job done over the Dockers. I do think it's going to be a close game. But yeah, I can just see the Ds being a little bit too good on the day. But you just never know. The Dockers, they're playing some decent footy. But yeah, I'm going to be back again with the Ds in this one. Then we move on to the last game of the round because we've got a few teams that have the buys this round. The first game of the round. Oh, not. Not the first game. The last game of the round is the Suns taking on the Bombers at People First Stadium in Gold Coast, 4 p.m. start time. The Suns are coming off that loss against the Blues. The Bombers are coming off that 12-point win over the Tigers. Um, that game was the dream time at the G game, so that you know that lived up to good expectation. You know, you you always want to see a good dream time game, and it was. Um, yeah, this should be another very good game. It's at People First Stadium up in the Gold Coast. So, you know, obviously Gold Coast will get up and about for this game in front of their home fans. But I'm going to be backing in the Bombers to get the job done in this game. Geez, the Bombers are playing some good footy at the moment. I know they only beat the Tigers by 12 points, but you can have a bad game here and there and still get up. It happens. It happens. You know, as a Collingwood fan, I know that from last year. Um, you know, we lost to the Hawthorne Hawks and we ended up winning the grand final. So it happens. And they still won, the Bombers. They still won. So you can't take that away from them. Um, and I do think they're going to win this game as well. I feel like they're playing some good footy uh, at the moment. I, I do think it'll be a tough game. Obviously, the Suns in Gold Coast, they normally play pretty well at their home stadium, the Suns. But should make for a good contest. But yeah, I'm going to be backing in the Bombers. They're just playing some good footy at the moment. I don't think they've been beaten in a few games as well. I don't know what their unbeaten streak is at the moment. Yeah, I'm going the Bombers to beat the Suns in this one. And those are my tips done and dusted for round number 12. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, hopefully all goes well. I'll be at the Friday night game for the Fires versus Dogs game um, tomorrow, literally tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, I'll keep you up to date with that. I should be going realistically. It's nothing too serious. It's just, I feel like my nose is just very stuffy at the moment. But we'll see how we go. But yeah, cheers guys. And uh, catch up.